Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a truly remarkable mathematical riddle. Benoit lives on a street where the houses are numbered consecutively from one to an integer greater than two. Today, he calculates the average of all of the other house numbers. That is, the average of every house number except his own and he adds his age to this average. The result is the fractional number 20.16. This is also equivalently 20 plus 16 over 100. Today is Benoit's birthday. What is Benoit's age? I thank Filippo for the suggestion. This problem comes from the 2016 International Championship of Mathematical Games. And yes, you heard it correctly. This is all the information you need to figure out Benoit's age. Can you figure it out? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we solve this question? Let's work through it step by step. Benoit lives on a street where the houses are numbered consecutively from 1 to an integer greater than 2. So we can imagine a row of houses, and they're numbered starting with the house number 1. The next house will be house number 2, and let's just say the total number of houses is equal to n. Today, he calculates the average of every other house number, so every house except his own, and he adds his age to this average. So let's set up some variables. Let's let B be Benoit's house number, and let's let A be Benoit's age. So let's try to calculate this. So first, let's take the sum of all the house numbers. So the houses are numbered from the integers going from 1 to n. So the sum of the numbers from 1 to n is equal to the famous formula n multiplied by n plus 1 all over 2. Now we need to remove Benoit's house number from this, so we subtract his house number, which is the variable b. So we have n multiplied by n plus 1 over 2, and we subtract b. We then need to take the average of this. Every house will be n houses minus his house, so that'll be an average of n minus 1 numbers. So we need to divide this by n minus 1. Finally, he adds his age to this. So add the age, which is a, so add a to this result. Now the result of this is the number 20.16. So this is equal to 20.16. So how does this equation help us? It just seems like we've made it more complicated. Well, we're going to work through the constraints that are given and magically we're going to figure it out. We will get started by simplifying this equation. So let's just rearrange the information we have. Now let's get rid of this denominator of n minus 1. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by n minus 1. We will distribute this through on the left hand side, so this denominator will cancel out, and then here we will have n minus 1 multiplied by a. So this works out to be n multiplied by n plus 1 over 2 minus b plus a multiplied by n minus 1, and this is equal to 20.16 multiplied by n minus 1. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by 2 so that we get rid of the other denominator. So we have n multiplied by n plus 1 minus 2b plus 2a multiplied by n minus 1 is equal to 40.32 multiplied by n minus 1. We'll continue simplifying this equation. So let's rewrite 40.32. This is equal to 40 plus 32 over 100. This can be simplified as 40 plus 8 over 25. Let's write this as a single fraction. 40 multiplied by 25 is equal to 1,000. So this is all equal to 1,008 over 25. So let's rewrite 40.32 as a fraction. 
Now, what can we say about the variables n, b, and a? Well, n is the number of houses, b is Benoit's house number, and a is Benoit's age. So we know these are all whole numbers. So if we take the product, the sum, or difference of whole numbers or integers, we will end up with an integer. So the entire left-hand side, n multiplied by n plus 1, that's going to be an integer. Minus 2b will be an integer. 2a will be an integer. And n minus 1 will be an integer. So 2a multiplied by n minus 1 will be an integer. So all of this on the left-hand side will all work out to be an integer. So we know the entire right-hand side must also work out to be an integer. And that gives us a key insight. We must get rid of this denominator 25 in some way. So n minus 1 must be a multiple of 25. We can write n minus 1 is equal to 25 multiplied by k, where k is some integer. So let's focus on this result and we will substitute. If n minus 1 is equal to 25k, then n is equal to 1 plus 25k. Substitute into this equation wherever there is an n. We end up with this equation, but don't worry, it's going to simplify. For 1, we have 25 in the denominator, which cancels out with this 25k. So then we just go ahead, we have this binomial, we're going to multiply through, and we're going to group like terms, and then we will simplify. We end up with 2 plus 75k plus 625k squared minus 2b plus 50ak is equal to 1008k. We will solve this equation for b. So take the 2b term and we will bring it to the right hand side and then we will bring this 1008k term to the left hand side. So we have 2b is equal to 2 plus 75k plus 625k squared plus 50ak minus 1008k. Let's continue to simplify this equation. We will group the k terms together. We end up with this equation. Now let's factor a k from the three terms that have at least a k factor. And then we will divide both sides of this equation by 2. So b is equal to 1 plus k multiplied by 625k plus 50a minus 933 all over 2. Where can we go from here? This equation still doesn't seem to help us because we still have three unknowns, k, a, and b. To solve this problem, we have to use some logical thinking. The houses are numbered from 1 to n, and b is Benoit's house number. So Benoit's house number has to be one of these house numbers. So 1 has to be less than or equal to b, has to be less than or equal to n. Then Benoit's age has to at least be 1 because he had a birthday. Now since n is equal to 1 plus 25k, and we know that n is at least 2, this means that k has to at least be equal to 1. So let's see how these constraints affect the equation. Let's just say we take the value that k is equal to 2. Let's substitute that into the equation. Let's go ahead and simplify. So we get that b is equal to 318 plus 50a. Now we know that the age is at least 1. So this means that b is greater than or equal to 318. But if k is equal to 2, then n is equal to 1 plus 25k, so n is equal to 51. But now we have n is equal to 51, but b is at least 318. And this is not possible because b has to be less than or equal to n. So we can't have k is equal to 2. We have a contradiction here, and we must eliminate k is equal to 2, or k is greater than or equal to 2, because we're going to end up with the same sort of situation that b would be greater than n. So the only possibility is that k is equal to 1. Then, since n is equal to 1 plus 25k, that means n is equal to 26. Now, if we substitute k is equal to 1 into the equation, we end up with the following equation, which we go ahead and simplify. So we have b is equal to 25a minus 153. 
but we know that n is equal to 26, and we know that 1 is less than or equal to b is less than or equal to n. So since b has to at least be equal to 1, we know that a has to at least be equal to 6.12. We know that a is a whole number, so the first value we can check is a is equal to 7. This leads that b is equal to 22. If we try a is equal to 8, we end up with b is equal to 47, but that's greater than 26. So we know that a is equal to 8 or larger will not work. The only possibility is that a is equal to 7 and b is equal to 22. And therefore, we have a unique solution. n is equal to 26, a is equal to 7, and b is equal to 22. Therefore, the answer to the puzzle is that Benoit is 7 years old. And that's the answer. What an amazing problem. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.